Mission control. Mission control. This is Dr. Leanna Prater, the Lego Education Adoption Lead in the US. Looks like we have a lot of educators joining us today from all different kinds of locations all around the globe. And we are really excited to get our presentation started. So the Build to Launch series is taking learning to new heights. As you know, LEGO Education has teamed up with NASA to bring this out of the world STEAM learning series to teachers and students down here on Earth. And in this pre-launch webinar, we plan to walk you through the upcoming series and provide a few wonderful tips on how to optimize this experience for your students. Build to Launch is a 10-week interactive digital learning adventure to explore technology, STEAM concepts, and even careers behind the Artemis program. With each episode, students will find themselves in the roles of NASA engineers, scientists, or even astronauts, and they'll be encouraged to think in innovative ways to solve similar problems the Artemis team faces as they build toward launch this fall. The open-ended lessons will allow students to showcase their design engineering skills and STEAM practices to solve those real problems. And additionally, the program is designed to help not only connect students with the Artemis mission, but also encourage them to connect with the space, the LEGO space team. So you'll notice the learning, the digital learning adventure is broken into three themed learning modules and will roll out every Tuesday on our YouTube channel. These episodes, um, which are about 12 to 15 minutes in length, will feature the LEGO space team, their friends from LEGO Education and NASA, and set the stage for concepts to be investigated. You can see each module includes a mission briefing which will set the stage for the new learning theme. It'll highlight student work and questions, and we'll have more on that here in a little bit, as well as two associated lessons. For example, the Module 1 Mission Briefing will introduce the series and the LEGO Space Team to students, and it'll set up the learning concepts all about getting to space. The Lesson 1 for module one, the lessons for module one, will encourage students to investigate and design solutions for an autonomous vehicle, something scientists might use as part of getting to space. They'll also have a lesson around working together collaboratively to accomplish a mission. And that final episode, Countdown to Launch, it'll recap the entire series, including um, a look at student work and a look at that final preparation for the upcoming Artemis launch. And in case you were wondering, the individual lessons are anchored in STEAM practices like planning and carrying out an investigation or iteratively testing and modifying designs and will be made available for each module. The lessons themselves are structured like individual missions and they'll include an intro from one of our LEGO space team members and their NASA counterparts, designed to engage students in ideas that they'll be exploring through questions. And we encourage you to extend your students' curiosity through research, using videos and articles to deepen student understanding and provide that background information they might need to help in their mission. And you'll find a few suggestions for those videos and articles as links in the lesson plan. Next, you'll see some connection to careers where students can learn more about the different jobs at NASA that relate to that particular mission. And finally, the open-ended problem to solve where students will be using those engineering design skills. And 
teacher resources are also included as well because we know that these classroom missions are led by wonderful educators like yourself. So we wanted to make sure that you had resources and supports that you needed to launch that learning in your classrooms. And if you haven't had a ch chance to check it out, please take time to download that Build to Launch Teachers Resource Guide. It's a good place to get started to plan your space adventure, and it includes some helpful information like ways to differentiate the experience for younger and older students. For example, we know that younger students or maybe some less experienced designers may need a little more time. So you will find some suggestions on how to scaffold the experience so they can be successful in the given task. Additionally, Older students or more experienced designers, um, they might complete a task really quickly. And so we've included some ideas for ways to extend that learning through a modified activity or just some additional activities. The engineering design uh, approach is mentioned in the lessons and to help, we've provided one approach to the engineering design process. You are welcome to use this model or one that you currently use in your classroom. And if you're not familiar with the engineering design process, the model is really easy to follow. Phase one is all about defining that problem or understanding the problem that you've been given to solve. And next, you're going to, you know, generate some ideas to solve that problem. As an educator, I often ask students during this phase to consider resources like time and materials that they had available to them to solve the problem. So next, students get to build that prototype. They spend time creating and building. And then they move into that testing phase where they're going to test that prototype to determine if the design really solves the problem and if not, what modifications they could make, um, and then they'll test it again. And finally, students are asked to share that solution with others, as well as share some things they've learned in the process. And in the teacher resource guide, you will find an engineering design rubric that will help you assess your students' learning. We've also got a great resource for students, an engineering design notebook, It'll be a separate resource that they can use to record those ideas, write down those challenges, capture the iterations that they're making, and notes about that final solution. And to provide additional inspiration and practice for students to complete their mission, we also have some suggested connections to other LEGO education lessons and NASA lessons in each mission. These lessons are great for scaffolding that engineering uh, design process, those skills, as well as practice for student collaboration and communication, practice around thinking and creative problem solving, and you will find those suggestions in the lesson plans. I also like to talk just a minute about our free LEGO education community. Inside, you'll be able to connect to other Build to Launch participants and follow weekly discussions from our master educators. It's a great place that you can celebrate the work of your students, things that they have created. You can also submit questions that you'd like to see answered on an upcoming episode. You can also ask those questions using social media in our social media channels on Twitter and Instagram using that hashtag Build to Launch. And did you know that LEGO Education has a free professional development learning platform? You can find our platform by visiting pd.legoeducation.com. You'll need to create a free LEGO ID account. That ID will give you access to the learning platform and it'll give you access to that learning community. As you create that LEGO ID, 
just so you know, you'll probably be asked to confirm whatever email address it is that you've used. Um, so you sometimes that goes to a spam folder or a junk folder, but just go look for that so you can confirm that account and start learning and sharing. Once you're logged in, you'll see several of our LEGO Education solutions. And if you do not have these available, no worries. Just pick one um, to explore the resources that are inside. So today, let's just pick Spike Prime to get started. So clicking on Spike Prime inside, you'll see four categories. Our platform is designed around teacher competencies related to STEAM learning. And these competencies are clustered within these four categories. STEAM practices, 21st century skills, pedagogy, and classroom management. So let's select pedagogy to explore a little more. So inside the category, you're going to find some great resources. You'll see some things for product support, You'll see some things for learning resources, some like 5e lesson design or some information around playful learning, but you'll also see learning bursts and quests. So the learning bursts are really short little learnings that are focused on one of those competencies. They only take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. The learning quests are a little longer take about 30 minutes to work through um, because they have strategies around four of those competencies that they're highlighting. So let's take a minute to select the learning burst, learning through iteration to find out a little more. So each learning burst has a companion guide that you can download and use to collect your ideas and thoughts as you move through this activity but we can just click on start learning now to start learning. And once the page is up there, you'll notice some arrows at the bottom. So navigating is really easy. So there's those arrows. And at the beginning, you'll have an introduction. So it's just going to, you know, let you know a little bit about the topic in that learning burst. And as you can see, this burst is all about iterations as part of the engineering design process. You'll also notice some tips along the way. So you can click on those to learn a little more. And we'll just click that arrow. So each learning burst and quest features real teachers. This particular burst features Barb in ways that she creates a classroom culture to encourage students to improve upon designs. You'll notice videos of teachers like Barb sharing strategies. They have that closed caption as part of that. And her strategies pop up on the side there. As she's talking through them. We also have actual classroom video, so you can see Barb in action with her students. There's also these built in self assessments and reflections, so you can kind of check your own understanding along the way. So to continue the learning, you can just click through the burst and if you've run out of time, no worries. You can close and come back and it'll pick up right where you left off. We hope that you'll find the learning platform really helpful to you to learn some new strategies or see parts of the engineering design process in action. The community is a great place to share other strategies that maybe you've used in your classroom too and you'd like to share with others. So I'd like to take a minute just to thank you all so much for joining us today and bringing your students along on this amazing adventure. Stay tuned for more updates by visiting us on the web at legoeducation.com built to launch and on our Twitter and Instagram channels. And we will see you on September 14th.